glutamate. So glutamate, as we said, epithelium as well, coming down onto that, that greater trough too. So it's its over glutamine, but it also cuts around further. And so it sits over glutamine and you can palpate it directly. But once you come, once it goes, dives under glut max, you're obviously going to have to palpate glut max to get it. So abduction is your key here with your palpation. So we'll just abduct slightly and feel the posterior borders of it there. And then if we extend back, you see glut max coming up. And that's more the border of glut max back here. So this is glut mean all through here, extending round. So with that, the trigger points generally are located up closer around that iliac crest here. But as we've said, it's wherever trigger point lies that is where you needle. You just don't needle where the book says. Yeah. So just particularly if you can palpate directly onto it, just some cross fibre um, palpation will allow you to identify it. So to just for um, make it a bit more comfortable for the patient as well, we've just got the knee bolstered too, so the hips in a little bit of abduction just to shorten the muscle a little, make it a bit easier to needle. So we'll needle directly into these trigger points here. There. Just hold this spot here for a bit of accuracy. Again, we'll just put a bit more pressure on. Not as critical as glute min to put the really solid pressure on with the guide chip. And we'll tap that in. So we could use a 75 here if we wanted. I'm just using a 40 because um, where we're wanting to needle is quite superficial anyway. So we should be able to get a, a reasonable response here, I think. Going for a run, okay? Yeah. So I've got a couple of twitches there. We had that big response, obviously, initially, but then after that, we just had some smaller twitches that I could feel under my fingers. Yep. The idea with the, that type of needling as well is obviously I didn't fish around a lot with the needle, so it's trying to get that specificity with your technique. So you can be use an aggressive technique, but get a quick response and therefore not have to create a lot of irritation patient's tissues or nervous system.